Hello, hello! If you're first time here, my name is Vivian. I'm from China originally, from Sichuan. So I make a lot of Chinese food and other Asian food I love. So today, you can see us three jars here. We are making three things. So first one, Sichuan chili oil. This is the one we actually use at home. You might see a lot of chili oil recipe here on YouTube, but not the one we actually use at home in Sichuan. This is why we use only two ingredients, chili powder, and hot oil. Second one, Sichuan peppercorn oil. No garlic, no dry spice in here because we want to taste the pure chili oil taste in my food. I don't want to star anise or cinnamon taste in my uh, noodles every day. So we add the other spices in the food, not in the jar. Last one, this is a special one. This is mala beef spicy sauce. Watch to the end. See how to make this spicy beef sauce with me. So why I use canola oil? You want to pick an oil that's no flavor so it wouldn't interfere the chili oil taste. You want to taste the pepper. Put your chili powder in the jar. I always fill my jar about halfway. Some of you like the exact recipe, so I have recipe down description for this bigger jar of chili oil, how to make it. Now turn on the heat, we heat some oil. Uh, around the 400 degrees. I usually don't measure the temperature. Uh, I just watch a little bit smoke. I use a chopstick to see if uh, some bubbles around the chopstick, the tip. That means they're hot enough. And we will turn it off. Let it cool around 325. We are gonna pour into this measuring cup first. Easier to pour. If you pour hot oil right in your chili powder, that will burn. Also, make another jar of um, strong pepper corn powder. Now, I'll do the chili oil first. Ah. You just chopstick to kind of mix those up. This one. We are mixing. <gasps> the fragrance. Next, I start making a spicy beef sauce, soaking the dried pepper first. The pepper soaked a few hours, or you can do it the day before. Look at them now. Now put the peppers in. In China, when I grew up, my grandma used to just chop them by hand, everything, even ground pork. I grind the pepper in the cuisinart, making them into very small pieces. Okay, I think they're done. Look at that. So now we put the pepper in this bowl. Take a look at this pepper. They yeah, actually from Sichuan. My dad brought me this last time when he came here. We put it on the side. Next step. For the spicy beef sauce, you can save it in the jar. We chop the ginger. Small. I don't like a ground beef because it's too small, too fine. You won't taste the texture in here, so I'd rather just cut it by hand. That's how small I chop them. We have a hot wok, cold oil. Canola oil, which is what we always use in Sichuan. First, we stir fry the meat. And peel the meat kind of dry. Hope I won't flip on your face. My wok's kind of heavy. So, dangerous. Try and hold. So that's my exercise, done for today. Now we put this on the side. Heat back and then we add some more cooking oil. Here we're doing the dry spices, star anise, cinnamon and some bay leaf. And my favorite ingredient is pepper peppercorns. Roast them. And the green onions. We got this very fragrant oil. Next we take the spices out. Then we add the chili peppers in. Ooh, smell this. So good. Next, we add chopped ginger and sweet bean paste. We stir fry all the ingredients together, mix them. Then next, we add a beef yin, add some sugar to balance the taste. Then last, we add some sesame seeds. Mix, mix. I love Sichuan peppercorn. So last, I add some Sichuan peppercorn oil I just made. So good. This is optional. You don't have to add the Sichuan peppercorn oil. Just taste this. I'm going to put it in a jar, then just wait. 
I'm going to put it in my fresh made noodles. So good. You have to try this with noodles or rice. Please subscribe. Look at the noodles. I will give you some right now if you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will put some of the spicy sauce on your vegetable too.